Hi everyone, my name is Jess and today we're gonna discuss six ways to calm down an angry customer. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It would help me out a lot and you'll be reminded that every single Monday I do post new content. Okay, before I get started, I feel like I need to give you a little backstory that I have a lot of experience dealing with angry customers. Now, I did not purposely make them angry. They called me angry, or we had reoccurring meetings where we needed to review the application that they were using. Now, this was when I was a customer success manager and the application was not perfect. There was always bugs that I needed to communicate that would be updated in the next release and sometimes it didn't get updated. So I had to calm them down, talking them through a most critical application in their business and why it was not working. So that being said, I will jump into my six tips that worked really, really well uh, when I was doing those phone calls. So number one would be easier said than done. Stay calm, stay as calm as you can. It's, it's really not easy to stay calm, especially when the caller on the other side is either on video or phone screaming at you saying, hey, you told me this would be fixed and this is critical to their business. It does not help that you raise your tone to match the customer. It really helps that you continue to stay calm and just maintain your composure. You will go a lot further in your career if you are able to stay calm. Sometimes for me, it is just taking a breath. Sometimes it's standing up when I'm on the phone and just doing a little walk. Sometimes telling myself a little pep talk that they are not really mad about. You know, they're not mad about me. They're mad about the product. I'm just the person representing the product. That helps me stay calm and do my job, right? You pick this job because you either like it or you didn't have any other option. And so you're in this job to make money, to do the job. Sometimes it's a nine to five or whatever the hours you are doing, you just have to stay calm. It is a requirement of the job in sales or customer support or any type of job like that. Now, number two tip would be pick your words wisely, especially depending on what country you support. If you're supporting Western customers, look at their culture, look at the words that they like to use. If you don't know anything about the culture, it's best to listen, right? And listen to the tone that they're taking and the words that they decide to use. Now, if you're in another country, sometimes they're a lot more direct with their words. I find the best way to learn about countries is asking questions, looking on YouTube at what is the country culture, finding people that maybe have experience with that country and asking them questions. But it's so important to understand the culture and the personality and then choosing your words. Using words like, I'm sorry you're going through this or making some suggestions or I recommend or I will action this right away for you. Even if you can't action it right away, let them know that you are taking this um, seriously and you're documenting it and working on it right away. Now, if a customer or someone on the other end is yelling, screaming, swearing at you, that is not acceptable, I believe, in any country. I don't think it's okay that someone swears at you and I really do believe it is okay to say, um, excuse me, madam, sir, Whoever you're speaking with, you can use their name. I do not tolerate you speaking to me like that. Um, we can't continue the conversation if you're gonna continue to talk to me like this. Uh, we're both humans. Uh, I'm here to help you. I'm here to serve you. And I'm here to find a solution for you. But if you talk to me like that, we can't find a solution together. Now, typically this will help the customer calm down a bit don't use the word calm. It will help them calm down a bit, but if they don't, feel free to get your manager involved or let them know that you are going to discontinue the phone call until uh, they, they calm down. Not calm down, but stop talking to you like that. Number three tip would be to let the customer talk. Now, there's a certain time period that they're gonna, they're gonna just ramble on and talk about what's going on, what the issue is, and you just need to listen. You need to maybe repeat back to them saying, oh, you said this, this, and this, is that correct? And at one point, they're gonna be done. They're gonna be all vented out, 
really exhausted from the whole thing. And that is when you can take a, a summary of what they said, but don't interrupt them. Just let them talk it out. And my next tip would be as they're talking it out and you're responding, be honest with them. Don't lie about a solution. Don't lie about what could happen in the, in the future. Just be honest with them. So if you don't have a solution right away, let them know you'll call them back or let them know you're, you're working on a solution, but don't let them know that you have a solution if you actually do not. So being honest is incredibly important. Now, I know a lot of call centers and salespeople use scripts. Sometimes scripts can make you sound a little robotic, but sometimes scripts can really help you solve issues. Now, most likely people before you have discovered every type of issue and problem and they wrote it down in some sort of sales plan. Use your script when applicable. It's never great to sound robotic, but there's always a script and always a solution within that script. And I tell everyone, use a script until you memorize that script, until you know it. Especially if you're new to this type of role, using a script can be super helpful. Now, lastly, my tip number six would be stay positive, right? Just like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you are in this job for a reason. You either picked it, you love this job, you went to school for this type of thing, or you have no other choice. And this is the job that is feeding your family, feeding you, giving you an income, letting you survive in this world. So the positive thing is you're employed. This is just the job that you are in and you're go going to deal with negative people. And let me tell you that customer success job that I did a couple of years ago was the best type of job to learn these skills. You learn so many skills when you have angry customers calling you because you are not only helping them, but you are finding solutions. And so on your resume, or if you want a job in the future, you can let people know that you have found hundreds of resolutions for angry customers. And I think that is incredible. So stay positive. You're in this job for a reason. And just know that the people are not upset with you. They're upset with the product or the service. And you are just the hero getting on the phone and solving their issue. So well done. And if you like this type of video or you have any questions or you found this helpful, comment below. I absolutely love reading your comments. Every day I get some new ones and it gets me very excited to keep on going. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I will see you next Monday. Take care.